Welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can batch resize a group of photos all to the same size using resize. You'll do this in a standalone application. Simply select the photos that you want to resize. Here I have four similar waterfall photos, but I want to all resize to the same size to have prints made. So I'm going to select the four photos, and then I'm going to click on the export button. From the export button, go to the photo size section. This is where you'll resize your photos. Let's say I want to resize these all to 24 by 36. From pop-up, I can select all of the common photographic and paper sizes. So I'll just go to the photographic size and select 24 by 36. It will now resize all four photos to 24 by 36, and it knows if they're horizontal or vertical, so it will swap the dimensions correctly for you. From the image type combo box, you can select which resize algorithm you want to use. In this case, I will just select landscape. That's going to use the genuine fractals algorithm with extra detail. I'll turn on the sharpening pane and I'll select the correct sharpening for what I'm going to do. I'm going to send these to my photo lab. So I'm going to select the print glossy option. Then I can select the file type. In this case, I want to convert these raw photos to JPEGs so that I can transmit them to my lab. So I'll select JPEG. I'll adjust the quality and select the right output profile. In this case, Adobe RGB works well. And then I'll select the location where I want it to save those photos. In this case, I'm going to save it to the same folder as the original locations. And then I could rename the photos as well. I'll turn on the rename option. I'm going to use the current name, and then I'm going to add some text to the end of it. I'll just type in 24 by 36 at the end. That way I can tell these ones apart. So here's what it's going to do. It's going to take all four of those original raw photos. It's going to process them to 24 by 36 inches. It's going to sharpen them for my lab and it'll save them as JPEGs into the folder that I've selected and it'll add 24 by 36 to the name. When I'm ready, just press the export button at the bottom. If these are settings you're going to use again, you can save them as a preset. Just from the preset pop-up, select save new preset with current settings, and then you'll be able to select it here again in the future. That's how to use the powerful batch processing features inside of On1 Resize. Thanks for watching.